still alive. Who's Tony? Yeah. I'll check that out. Where is she? What are you dumping my wife? our destination shortly. Our destination? Your new home. Which should be considerably more comfortable than your last car. found out that Rick was going to release me, so you double-crossed him? I was more concerned that Rick was desperate enough to kill you himself. So I decided to get you out myself. But he changed the remote on the room. Exactly. That's why I sent someone else in to retool the remote. You're the ultimate bargaining chip, Carly. Not anymore. You go ahead. And you tell the pilot to turn this plane around and take me home to Sonny now. I don't know where Carly is. Don't lie to me! I swear to you, Sonny, if really somebody came in, they hit me, I don't know what... Where's my wife? No sign. Where's my wife? Sonny, there's no sign of Carly in the house. Check outside. I did. Someone grabbed her, broke in here, I couldn't find a trace. Look at this place. No windows, no fresh air. And Carly must have been watching us every time we were here. Sick bastard! You keep my wife prisoner, torture her? No, no, I never hurt Carly. I wanted her healthy. I was keeping her here until she... Until what? Until what? You were going to take my wife, is that right? You were going to take her baby no, and what, give it to Elizabeth? Sonny, I was blind with anger. I picked up Elizabeth Miss Karen. I blame you. It was going to be a baby for a baby. Then what? Huh? Then what? What was your plan? You were going to kill my wife after stealing her baby? Huh? Couldn't go through it. Elizabeth, she saw Carla. Sonny, the only way that I could... I could stop anybody from finding out was to kill her. And I almost did it. I almost destroyed the one person who ever truly loved me just to get back at you. But I couldn't. And then Elizabeth woke up. And she didn't remember anything. So I got a reprieve. I came back here and I released Carly. I even had Carly call you on the phone, Sonny. I swear to God, I tried. Who's got her? Think. I don't know. Alcazar? He must. He's the only other person I know. Where we take her? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. You're useless to me! Nobody moves! My wife all along had her locked up in here like a caged animal. Alcazar's probably got her now. Where? I don't know. Find her without an APB. Lock him up. I don't want to... Uh, get him out of my sight. I need to go to the hospital. Put out an APB on Lorenzo Alcazar and Carly Corinthos. Call for an ambulance. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, if you hadn't gotten here, I think my brother might have killed me. Well, you can thank your wife. Elizabeth? She remembered seeing Mrs. Corinthos in this room. Sent me to arrest you. Mommy will like it? <laughs> I think that your mommy will love it because you made it. <laughs> mommy, is that you? Yes, sweetheart. It's me. It is so good to hear your voice. And Courtney said you were coming home. That's right, sweetheart, and I can't wait to see you. Sweetheart, is Daddy there? No, Daddy and Jason 
wants to go get you. Um, how about Aunt Courtney? Let me speak to Aunt Courtney, okay? Don't go away again, okay, Mommy? I won't, sweetheart. And when I get back, you and me and Daddy, we are going to have so much fun. We are going to do everything we can and spend time together while we wait for this baby to be born. How does that sound, sweetheart? Great. Sweetie, let me talk to Carly for a minute, okay? Okay. on his way looking for me and now Courtney and Michael know that I called and they will let him know still fighting even when you lost I can see why Sonny would give up everything for you and that's exactly what he'll have to do I just want to see my wife please, please no, no, let me hey, see my hey, wife hey just take it easy you've sustained a serious head injury and a possible concussion and I should have known. What'd you do to him, Sonny? I nearly had enough. Look, I need to see you, Elizabeth. All right, please, please just let the me see The only thing you're going to be doing right now is lying still. No, I have to explain to her. No, don't push yourself. You can tell her later, okay? Look, I'll tell your wife you're here. Look, I have to see her Come first. On, please, I feel fine. Hey, I got every man searching for Alcazar. Alcazar. He may have gotten her out of town or out of the country. I need you to call Morales, tell him we need to call him some favors in Venezuela. It's already done. I wonder how much Rick knows. What's the point of asking? You know he's going to lie. The man means nothing to me. And he's going to die for what he did. But not yet. Rick knew Alcazar's brother. They, they worked together in Venezuela. He has a lot of information about the operation. He still could be useful to us. Until we find Carly. You didn't find Carly, did you? No. Welcome home, Mommy! Where is Mommy? Sorry, Mike, she's not coming home yet. Hey. Hey, 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 come on. Okay. Sit over there, sit right here. You were right. Rick had mommy all along, but he doesn't have her anymore. Where is she? She's... She's being delayed for a little while, but she's gonna... She's coming home. Okay? That's what mommy said, too. Carly called to tell Michael she was okay. I, I took the phone and she was gone. Did mommy say where she, where she was? No, just that she was coming home. Then she will. When? I don't know, but she's going to be okay. She also said that our new baby is going to be okay, too. Well, that's the most important thing, all right? Mm -hmm. I know you've waited a long time, and you've been patient. I know it's hard to be patient. But we got to do that. I, I miss Mommy as much as you do, and I want her to come home. Um, We're going to have to just be strong and, and say our prayers and know that in our hearts, she's going to be with us as soon as she can, okay? Why can't you come now? Something went wrong, but I'm going to fix it. You just got to know that mom, you know, mommy loves you more than anything in the whole world. And you, me, and the baby, we're her family. And even though we're not together, mommy's always with you right here, okay? So you're going to have to have faith. She's coming home. Okay. All right. Uh, get the phone record to see if you can trace the way they call people. It's a bad time. I have a letter for Sonny. From Alcazar. Come on, Michael. Let's pass your bedtime. Okay. Alcazar gave this to you? Yeah, he saw me and said he'd pay me to deliver it to Sonny. 
When? A few hours ago. I mean, well, he, he said wait 24 hours, but I don't know. I thought maybe you guys would want to see it. Where? Uh, where was this? Kelly's. Kelly's. He saw us talking. Figured you had ties with me and Sonny. This is trouble you don't need, Dylan. Well, yeah, okay, but what did Kelly just say? Thanks. Do you know what you just did? He delivered a ransom note for the pregnant mother of that kid that you just saw. Do you want any part of this? I don't think you do. Alcazar is serious trouble, and I will advise you. Next time you see him, you turn around and you run. For what it's worth, I hope you, you find her and she's okay. Alcazar left town without a trace. Any news on the APB? No, nothing yet. Can you get everybody you can on this? They didn't just disappear. Did Look, they we're doing all we can, all right? No, if I hear anything, anything at all, I'll contact you. Yeah, you do that. Just a psycho who's an idiot. He, he, what, he didn't think that Alcazar would double-cross him? Well, at least Alcazar's a businessman. He'll be willing to negotiate. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. Carly was almost home. How's Mike? Um, he feels a little better. He believed you when you said you'd fix this. She's well. How do I know that? She'll tell you herself. Sonny? Carly, listen to me. I tried everything I, to, to get you. You know that, right? I love you. I, I, I love the house. How are you and the baby doing? We're fine. I tried to get home to you. But now Alcazar came and he got me and we're on it. Too much knowledge can be a dangerous thing, Sonny. What do you want? My terms haven't changed. Your peers route silent cooperation. A strong foothold into your territory. Make sure that I get it. And you might be there when your baby's born. I'll be in touch. He wants to run the drugs through your territory. In exchange for calling the baby. What are you going to do? Well, what am I going to do? I mean, you know what? If it means getting my baby back and party, I'm, I'll give him anything he wants. You not to tie her up. Sorry, sir. Misunderstood. Get out! Yes, sir. I apologize for the misunderstanding. Yeah, thank you, Cap. Would you prefer to eat here out on the deck? The ocean is beautiful. Probably appreciate some fresh air. You're free to go anywhere on the yacht. the inside of your brother's yacht. Was it like this? It's very similar. It's helpful if the competition can't tell one vessel from another. So you use this boat for business? That's what I'm using it for right now. You're being held here as a negotiating tactic. It should be treated with dignity and respect. All we can do is make the best out of a difficult situation, Carly. 
and hope that your husband is willing to cooperate to get you back. At midnight, I want double security at all points. The ship... Listen to me, the shipment goes through. Yeah, I, everybody looks the other way like the ship never went into the harbor. Nobody touch... Okay, listen, nobody touches the ship with the Swiss flag. That's an order. Yeah, uh, you know what? Landing Alcazar's drugs is the only way I'm going to get Carly back. He's going to use Carly's leverage. The more you cooperate, the longer he's going to keep Jason, I want to see my I... wife. He's out to control your territory, Sonny. You don't think I know that? I'm, I'm, just, try I'm just trying to understand how you're, how you're thinking. Okay, do you, know, do you know where Carly is? Do you know how to find her? Bring her back to me? Alcazar has the leverage. I, I need to cooperate until I find his weakness. As soon as he establishes himself in your territory, he's going to try to take you out. You know this. You taught me this. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Are you just so scared for Carly that you're not thinking right right now? What I'm doing. Okay. Alcazar's dealing with me. Nobody else. I need you to back me on this. Can you do that? Of course. I'm running out of options. The feds are a waste of time. So is Faith Brasco. Baldwin is after us, not Alcazar. Now, unless Rick gives us something on Alcazar, where he's holding Carly, and how we can get her back, the transport network is, is the only thing I have to bring to the table. Okay. Well, just tell me, what, what's the advantage of playing this Alcazar's way? It keeps my wife alive long enough for me to figure out how to get her away from Alcazar and take him down. Trust me on this. You know what? I, I didn't lose my family to my brother, who is a psychopath. I'm sure as hell not going to lose them to Alcazar. I've done my best to work with Sonny. He's been uncooperative, and he owes me a great deal of money. It's lucky for both of us that I realized Rick had taken you. Rick was about to let me go. Or he was about to kill you. A man is capable of justifying anything. Well, don't expect me to defend him. He's out of his mind. You are not. Why did you take me? You know the answer. I'm a businessman like your husband. No, Sonny would never do anything like this. I saw an opportunity and I took it. Sonny understands that. Kidnapping a pregnant woman? It makes you appear desperate and weak. No. It puts me in a position to dictate the terms. You, in exchange for a distribution agreement. Sonny's probably already looking for me right now. Possibly. But he'll never find you. There isn't land for miles. Because we are sailing to where? South America, the Caribbean. Why does it matter where we are? Just try to enjoy yourself, Carly. You seem so sure that Sonny will agree to whatever you want. He doesn't have a choice. I still don't understand what you want out of this. Is it money or revenge? Why not both? So you took me for payback? Or, or it's just so Sonny could be afraid for me, or just so he misses me as much as you miss your brother? Would you feel more comfortable if you spoke with your husband? Or with Michael again? What do you know about my son? I know he's a charming little boy. Very well behaved. Stay away from my kid. He's also well guarded, and I have no intention of going near him. I already have you. Call can't be traced. I'll be right here if you have another bad dream, eh? Mommy can make the bad dreams stop. How many times are we gonna go through this? I'm trying to bring Lonnie home. Where is she? What's the catch? No catch. My only concern is your husband's territory. It's ringing. Go ahead. Don't answer it, Mike. Michael. Mommy? Hey. Hey, Mr. Man. Hi, where are you? Um, I'll be home as soon as I can. I promise. 
I love you, Michael. I love you, too. Hey, 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 give me that. Where are you? Michael's scared. Yeah, we're dealing with it. You know, he'd probably feel better out on the water. Maybe the ocean miles away from any land. Is that where you are? Yachts are pretty amazing, you know. So you're taking good care of you? Especially when you can go wherever you want. Is your baby all right? Yeah, the baby's fine. He's getting so big. How about you? How you doing? Is uh, you sleeping? Yeah, I will tonight. You know, I can never sleep on a plane, especially one of those little jets. Do we understand one another about the shipment? Yeah. Then we'll have no problem. somewhere probably uh in a small jet yeah start in venezuela and you know just, just stay in touch with me will you all right scott baldwin uh okay hey you know what i think your sister's tougher than you she's got a hell of a left jab have you found anything yet she knocked Faith right onto the elevator. Did you know that? Oh, well, that's not and my And now problem. she's disappeared. Yeah, really? Yeah, I well, think we yeah. had a deal. No, you know what? The feds didn't find Carly, neither did you. There is no deal. Do you think Faith went over to Alcazar? I mean, I hear he's squying around a new chickie. Well, that's, you know what? You probably got that wrong like everything else, you know what I'm saying? Want to know what I think? Not really. I think he grabbed Carly. Now he's willing to trade for just about everything you got. So there's a big drug shipment coming in the docks tonight through your territory. Where do you come up with this stuff? So you're going to stick to your, your honor code, right? No drugs in my territory. I'm a, I'm a coffee importer. Sure. Yeah. Of course you are. Law sure. biting as well you should be since Alcazar's got your wife. How come you're not out looking for her? Because we're going to be watching the docks, just so you know. Well, it seems like a waste of the taxpayers' money. But what else is new? Uh-huh. Hey, Max. Yeah. Could you let Mr. Baldwin out, please? Yes, sir. His car. Make sure he gets good. Get home all right. veggies, which is good because you're going to need them. Mommy's going to teach you something very important. How to run a scam. Nothing's wrong, okay? So just you, you stay cool. Mommy just needs to do what she can to get us out of here. So do me a favor and stay put. Everything's going to be fine. Ready? It's showtime. I want to see her. You spoke to her. 
That's more than your brother was willing to arrange. What do you want? I'm here to make sure our deal goes through. So there won't be any misunderstanding like before. There won't be? Well, I hope not. I'd hate for anything to happen to Carly after all she's been through. And just to reassure you, she's comfortable at the moment. There's no chains, nothing like that. But her attendant is standing by for my call. Just in case the shipment doesn't go through. I'm expecting a call to confirm that the shipment went through. As long as I get it, Carly will be fine. But if this phone doesn't ring soon, then I'll have to make a call of my own, Sonny. Help me. What's wrong? Oh, you have to do something. The baby's coming. <laughs> Wait, uh, Mr. Alcazar said it would be months here. <laughs> the baby's coming now. Okay, just, just, you have to get me to the hospital. Please. Ah! Ah! They bought it. We're getting out of here. You should call by now. If anything happens to my merchandise, or if you try to dump... I personally gave instructions to let the shipment through. If there's a problem... If there's a problem, a... your wife pays for it. That's Pier 52. That fireworks show just cost you your wife. Then find out. Shipment made it into the harbor, but the boat blew up as it was approaching the pier. Maybe your organization's not as secure as you think. Maybe you're not as attached to your wife and child as you claim to be, since you just forfeited them by destroying my shipment. I don't know what happened out there. You know, denials are a waste of time, Sonny. You chose to escalate this, now you pay Okay, wait, price. wait, 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 wait. I agreed to move your product. I'm not responsible if you're incapable of landing it. You know what, we're both businessmen here, we, you know. It, it wouldn't be in our, our, our interest to break off negotiations. Obviously, there's somebody out there who wants to cause trouble in between us. Who doesn't like uh, your expansion plan? But you know what? I held up my end of the deal. I want to talk to my wife. was minimal, but was filled with baking soda. Somehow I knew the shipment wouldn't go through, so I decided to use it to work out any flaws in the system and to see if you're the man of honor you claim to be. Well, now you know. It's time for you to reciprocate. I want to see my wife, make sure she's okay. I want my product landed first. You had your one chance to claim bad luck, to blame complications on someone else. Yeah. I think there's a problem with the woman. What's wrong with her? Um, Is it called? Something with the baby. You know, I think she might be going into labor. The baby's not due until November. Something wrong with the baby? Should we bring the boat in? Alcazar. No. What's happening to my wife? I need help. Why are we still out in the middle of nowhere? I need to get to a hospital. We won't be taking you to a hospital. I'm Dr. Andrew Wasser, OBGYN. Mr. Alcazar has me on call. He's bringing the hospital to you. Is Carly in labor? Something wrong with the baby? So you cooperate. No, you ain't. No, no, no. You ain't getting Jack. Unless I see my wife. Now, either you arrange for me to be in the same room with my wife, or I will order you killed and open up negotiations with your lieutenant. I'm tired of this now. It's in your best interest to prove to me that my wife's okay. 
No backup. No bodyguard. You put your life in my hands. That's a deal. You're a man of your word. So, yeah, I will let you see Carly. You meet me outside Pier 52 at midnight. But if anyone's with you, I see any sign that anybody's following you, the deal is off. I will be there alone. wrong please i really need to go to the hospital you're right there is something wrong but there's no time to get you to a hospital whoa, 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 what's that for i'm going to induce no i need you over here no, no, don't no, worry no. i'm going to give you a set of no, 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 no get away from me gotcha you and the baby are both perfectly fit and you are most definitely not in labor Mr. Alcazar anticipated you might fix some sort of crisis, so he took precaution by having me on board. You know, you're gonna lose your license for this. Not at all. Consider me your personal physician. I'm on call 24-7. I'll be supervising your diet, and my specialty is trauma obstetrics. I'm also good at charades. Better than you. So why don't you make peace with the situation and enjoy the ride? I'm gonna make peace with the situation. Go to hell! Everything went off without a hitch. We hit the charge before the boat got to the pier and it blew with everything on. All right. Hi. Okay. So we heard new news? Can you do me a favor? Can you stay with Michael? I know Leticia's upstairs, but... He has nightmares, and it, it, I'd feel a lot better if he was with you. Uh, when Jason gets back, can you tell him that uh, I went to see Cardi? How did you arrange that? I, uh, it's, not, it's a long story, but I made a deal with Alcazar, and he's taking me to visit her. Sonny, come on. What if it's a trap? Just, take, I mean, just she... do what I said, will you? Okay? I'll keep in touch. What are you gonna do now? Well, I'm gonna give you what you want. A reunion with your husband. I'm here alone. wasn't followed, all right? He's clean. I, I did this exactly the way Alcazar wanted me to, so now what you guys need to do is take me to my wife. Sure, Mr. Krentos. Come on. I'm sure that you know that Alcazar is setting up a meeting between me and my husband. Um, he's probably on his way right now, so I need you to get some things for me. Are you up to something? Are you slow? I just told you that my husband is coming. I haven't seen him in weeks, so I intend to look good for the first time we see each other. I need a few things. So please, I mean, I'm sure Alcazar made some provisions, a decent dress, some, some makeup, some perfume. You know, this is a boat. It's not a shopping mall. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, so, um, just... I just want to make sure I understand this. Are you refusing to do this for me? You know, I didn't say that. But I was wondering, if I get you what you want, what's in it for me? Well... I guess we won't know unless you come through. But I will tell you this, it's a very, very important day for me. And if you do this for me, I will be indebted to you. Okay. Don't, don't forget the perfume.
We've been flying half the night. First in one direction, then the other. We could be 500 miles from Port Charles, 5,000 miles. Can we just stop this now? When do I get to see my wife? There's something I need from you first. Okay, that, that was not the deal. You run your first shipment through my docks after I see Carly, not before. This isn't about drugs. Oh. Okay, well, what's it about? I want you to kill Rick Lansing. I thought you and Rick were tight. We got along. Well, I haven't killed. Rick knows too much about me, about the way I conduct my business, about my brother. And he's not exactly uh, trustworthy. Neither am I. You've given up an awful lot telling me that. I'm just tying up loose ends. And no offense, but I don't need to worry about you anymore now that I'm in possession of your wife. I want to conduct my business worry-free. That means Rick has to die. The information he has goes with him. Nice and neat. That's the point, isn't it? Why me? Well, see, now that's the part I enjoy most. The irony. You killed my brother. <laughs> that wasn't me. Well, not exactly, but let's not get into semantics. You're the reason he's dead. Luis would have never come to Port Charles if he hadn't been obsessed with Brenda and getting rid of everybody she ever loved. So it's only fitting that your brother should die, too. By your hand, on your order. See? Irony. Make the call. Tell me why you're leaving something out. If uh, you took Carly from Rick, why isn't he dead already? Well, things didn't go the way I'd hoped. In their haste to get Carly out of Rick's house, my men mistakenly left Rick for dead. I sent them to General Hospital to finish the job. By then, he was gone. Since the police are still looking for him, my guess is Jason must have grabbed him first. Well, then this conversation could be moved. Jason's been wanting Rick dead for a long time. I'm sure he took the first opportunity that presented itself. Well, let's make sure. It's your choice, Corinthos. I have no problem turning this plane around. But I was under the impression you wanted to see your wife. Call Jason. Find out if Rick is dead. If he says no, make him that way. Now. You don't think Alcazar would kill Sonny, do you? Killing Sonny wouldn't serve Alcazar's purposes right now. Unless Sonny refuses to follow orders. Yeah, it's me. Sonny, where are you? I need you to carry out an order. Okay. If you haven't already. Get rid of Rick. No, Sonny, wait a minute. What, what's happening? Is this Alcazar talking to you? Just do it. Give him what he wants. There's other stuff, but this seemed like what you said you wanted. Oh. Well. Well, if uh, you ever went off this tub, you could have a career's personal shopper at Wyndham's. <laughs> um, what about the perfume? Did you bring it? such an obvious Achilles heel. I didn't get a choice. Carly was irresistible. You know who you remind me of? My brother. A woman can bring down a strong man faster than anything. We're ready to land. A chopper will pick us up, take us to see Carly. All goes well. Your man Jason knows how to follow orders. You may actually get to see your wife soon.
Excuse me. Um, I was right. I do need your help. Do you mind? Not at all. Um, can, can, can I ask you just something? I realize I might be stuck on this boat for a while, and, um, I thought it would be nice, you know, if I got scared, if I had someone that I could turn to. Don't, please, don't tell Alcazar, but I really hate boats. They have this tendency to sink, you know. Look, nothing's gonna happen. You don't know that. That's why they're called accidents. Even if something did go wrong, you wouldn't drown. There's a lifeboat and motor each side the deck, so... Oh. Okay, well, I feel a little bit better now. <laughs> I guess I'm skinny. Get the rest of that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how do I look? You look amazing. Thanks. Um, you should probably go now, though. <laughs> Oh, one more thing, real quick. I wanted to know. Uh, uh, you're fired. Leave the boat immediately and don't come back or you're dead. Look at you. All dressed up. And where were you going? Away from here. I'm sorry, I'm not a very good captive. Well, I don't understand how you could be leaving after all I've done to arrange this meeting with your husband. Not to mention what he had to sacrifice to be here. Oh, sacrifice? That that's code for what? Hmm? Yes. You positive? Good. Keep an eye out. For future reference, just in case you were to manage to get to the lifeboat, yeah, I would have overtaken you before you got too far. And I also have people on the shore. Um, what exactly is it that you made Sonny sacrifice to see me? Nothing too valuable. Only his brother. This means we should commend Jason on his efficiency. You this long? Enjoy yourself. Jason and Courtney, they've been 
Him and Greg, whatever he needs, you know, they're right there. I've just been trying to reassure him that, uh, that uh, everything's going to be okay, you know. And uh, basically, he just wants him all back. We all do. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Hey, listen, listen to me. Listen. I don't want, no, I don't want you to worry, okay? I'm going to get you out of here. I, I, I already got things in motion. I just, I just need you to promise me you're not going to take any chances. You know, keep the baby safe. And, you know, you got to trust me that I'm going to bring you home. Alcazar said something about what you had to sacrifice to come see me. Something about Rick. Okay. Forget Rick. He's through. I saw the room that bastard kept you in. As a prisoner. I know that he had you locked up to a wall. And he tortured you with those monitors. So you can see everybody who came looking for you. How he, how he got away with everything. The monitors were actually a blessing in disguise. They were, you remember the night that you came with Jason? I thought you in that room. And I heard everything that you said. I heard how you'd made a deal with the feds. And that Faith was posing as your mistress so they would help you. I'd have made a deal with the devil if I had time with you. You know, it tried to convince me that um, it was real with you and Faith, and that yeah, you never loved me in the first place if you could move on to her so quickly. I never believe this. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe a little, <laughs> a little pang. You know, a little pang of insecurity. I mostly believe that you'd never stop loving me. You know, that gave me the strength to hold on. It gave me the strength. And that no matter how bad it got with Rick and how hopeless it was, I just never believed that, that he'd win. You know, but I was really worried about you, and I thought that I thought you were going to get hurt. Or killed or something looking for me. It's okay. Listen to me, okay? Neither one of us is gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna have our baby. We're gonna we're gonna live to about fifty years or so. We have a big family, you know. business on the table. Let's do it. All right. There's a shipment en route to Port Charles. I want you to land it and move it to my New York distributors through your transportation network. As soon as your product is safely offloaded, I will get my wife returned to me. You'll be allowed another visit. That's when we'll discuss the terms of your wife's release.
you're not allowed to use the phone. Jerry, talk to me. Do you have any idea who my husband is? He's Sonny Corinthos, and he would kill you for touching me. Yeah, well, your husband's not here. He hasn't paid your ransom, so you're still a prisoner. You don't you come let back. Let go of me. She says. I, I caught her on the... Touch her again, you die. Now, if you ever observe Mrs. Corinthos doing something objectionable or that points to her attempting to escape, you come to me. I'll deal with it. Now apologize. I'm sorry, Mrs. Corinthos. It will never happen again. Good. Because I don't appreciate being manhandled. Go. sure I understand the question. All of a sudden you go into the amiable host routine and I'm supposed to forget that you were holding me hostage. Why are you so resentful? This was your idea. Excuse me, mine? Yeah, you told me to take you away from Rick and trade you to Sonny. I'm simply following your savvy advice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really great because it's the first time anyone has listened to me in weeks. Where's Michael? At Bobby's. Why is this filth at my house? Rick is here because I couldn't keep him in the panic room and I didn't have time to move him to a safe house. Did I or didn't I not give you an order? Yeah. Yes, you did. Why wasn't it carried because out? Because we still need Rick. That so was he... for you to decide? No. I knew that you were with Alcazar and I figured he might have even been listening. I didn't know if it was for Alcazar's benefit, so I made a judgment call. Rick worked with Alcazar's brother. He knows the layout of the properties. He could have the information that gets Carly back. It's being handled already. How? I agreed to Alcazar's terms. Sonny, in, re in return, I got to see Carly. How is she? How is she? She's okay. She's okay. So is the baby. She'll be a lot better as soon as this business is over, then she's going to be released, which makes him even more expendable. Prayers, little brother. I'm taking you out. You didn't use the phone after all. Well, I was going to call my son. But then I realized I don't have a logical reason to give him for why I'm not coming home. And I didn't want to upset him. Tell Michael you're visiting an associate of Sonny's. That you're on a large boat. It's pretty boring. But you're putting the time to good use by learning an amazing game you're going to teach him at home. Oh, okay. What game? Backgammon. You play? No. And I don't think Michael would care to learn either. Well, it's a way to pass the time unless you'd rather sit here and sulk. Is it a betting game? It can be. Well, then I'm sure you'll cheat. I give you my word that I will not cheat you until you try to cheat me. Okay. But I'm warning you. I play to win. I don't doubt it. that summer. I was just a little boy who didn't want to wear his rain slipper. I never meant for her to fall. It was an accident, then it was a tragedy, because you didn't die. You 
kept growing inside of her. And you lived to be born, to come back years later, poison my life, torture my wife, lie to her, hold her hostage like an animal in a cage. You should have died on these steps, Rick. But you know what they say? Better late than never. Try again, Rick. Sonny agreed to move product in exchange for setting me free. He will do it. He is an honorable man. <laughs> is he as ruthless as you are? Mm. No, I pale in comparison. Somehow I doubt that. So, Mr. Alcazar, how Please. long are you... From now on, call me Lorenzo. Okay. From now on, you can call me Mrs. Corinthos. Thank you. Trouble? Captain keeps me updated on GPS coordinates. Of course, and location. Nothing to be concerned with. Uh, you got me boxed in here. You want to pick up the rules of the game quickly, and then I play by them. So does my husband. And if he gave you his word, if he agreed to something, he will stick to it. It's a code that he lives by. So, if I were to let you go home, Sonny would give me what I want? Yeah, he would. Somehow I don't think you're naive enough to believe that, and I am definitely not. It's your turn, Mrs. Carentos. What do you say, little brother? You want to take another trip down the stairs? Huh? I can keep holding you back up as many times as it takes. I can watch you fall over and over again until you, uh, your neck finally snaps. And you die just like you should have before you were born. Uh, why don't you push our mother down the stairs? That was an accident! I'm not going to tell you that! Not like you. Get up! Ah, I'm sick of this. Get up! Get up! When I hurt somebody, I mean to. And once I do, I own it. Just like I'm gonna own your death. I'm gonna kill you. But first, I want you to understand how wrong you were. How every sick, pathetic thing you did to me, to my wife, was paid back for a lie you told yourself. You want a family, little brother? Well, you got one. I'm gonna teach you all the reasons why you deserve to die. For a second that Sonny would let me move my product to his territory if I didn't have you for leverage. And neither do you. But I admire your tenacity in trying to convince me to let you go. Oh, okay. Is that why you helped Rick keep me prisoner? So you could admire me? I'm sorry for the part I played in that. I was just buying time to make my own arrangements. And just so you know, the moment I found out that Rick was holding you hostage, you and your baby were safe. I would never have let Rick hurt you, and I certainly would not have let him take your baby. Okay. Well, my baby and I are not Rick's hostages anymore, or yours. So please tell me how that is any better. Well, the accommodations to start. Rick kept you locked up in a cramped room alone, chained to a wall. I've done all I could to accommodate you, including arrange a meeting with Sonny. I'll let you speak to your son. 
I treated you with the respect you deserve. And what happens now is up to your husband. According to... Oh. How many summers did you spend growing up here, Rick? Every one. From the, from the middle of June to last week. Oh, August. Right, right. When the, when the city was the worst, when, when... It stinks the most when it's so humid, you can't even move. You were up here in a house on a porch with the lawn running down to the sea. But you were suffering, right, Rick? Oh, what is this, parents, the part where you what? compare your childhood to mine? I know about so your stupid child. Don't tell me about your child. I'm tired of hearing it. Too much money, not enough love. Must have been difficult to warp you this badly, to twist you into the monster that you are. But you know what? Maybe they had nothing to do with it. Maybe you were like this from the beginning. Something wrong and evil growing inside my mother to begin with. Yeah, a poor Adela, right? Well, at least she had you. A perfect boy. I threw her down the stairs at the ripe old age of six and I grew up and beat the hell out of her. Yeah, she was blessed. Her jaw was broken. Her arm was broken. She had two black eyes. She was beautiful, but not after that. The man who hit her felt entitled because he was angry because something happened. Because he couldn't own up to his screw-ups, his failures, so he took it out on her. Do you know who I'm describing here? Huh? Sound familiar to you? I'm going to tell you who I'm describing. My stepfather. But I could easily be talking about you. Look at yourself. Look at yourself! You kidnap a woman, you chain her to a wall, you threaten to kill her and steal her child, you are no better than the man who beat our mother. You say you want to come after me to avenge your pain? The bastard you hate, the pig you want revenge against is not me, Rick. It's you. Well, you finished me, right? We finally get rid of the brother that you never wanted. Well, go ahead. What are you waiting for, huh? Permission? No, I'm, wait I'm waiting for you to hate yourself even more than I hate you. I want you to even be more afraid than you are now. I want you to beg for your life. And you will, Rick. You're too weak to accept what you deserve. What I deserve? What about you, Sonny? Huh? What do you deserve? I stood over my wife, and I was prepared to smother her to death. And I realized that I made a mistake, that I was wrong. I went back and I released Carly from that panic room. You know what, Sonny? You're right. I don't have it in me to kill. I faltered at the end. But you won't. You won't. You never do. And when you push your mother down the stairs, I the closet stairs when you killed my baby. I never laid a hand on this. Yeah, it's a lie, and you know. No, the only liar here is you. You wanted to take my wife, my 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 child. The the miscarriage was just. Your I excuse. wanted to give back my wife, what you took from her. Did you hear Elizabeth? I didn't in say ER? Did you hear Elizabeth in the ER? Did you hear her crying over losing our baby? Did you hear her tell her, tell me how sorry she was for what you did to her? You use Elizabeth. Greed. Don't you tell me how I feel about it. Well, you got a strange way of showing it, Rick. Lying to her face, moving her to that house. What if the cops blame Elizabeth? You ever think of that, Rick? What if they charge her as an accomplice? No. No, no what? No, Elizabeth's innocent. Carly will tell her. Carly's gone, you miserable freak. 
Balthazar took her. You forgot about that? My wife and my unborn child are hostages because of you. Somehow, Alcazar figured out you had Carly. And you panicked. And you let him, you let him take her. That's why he kept showing up at your house. He wanted to keep an eye on Carly, make sure that you didn't lose his bargaining chip. It took you that long to figure it out? Well, because of Elizabeth. She was worth all the, all the lies you told her. She was a great alibi. But I knew she wouldn't cover up a kidnapping. So that left Alcazar as the only suspect. But tell me something, Rick. Well, I wasn't completely wrong. Huh? Did, was he in on it from the, from the start? I huh. loved Elizabeth. The night that I took Carly out so she would know that I was gone. Alcazar just came in and he saw her lying on the couch. Mm -hmm. Then he just, Alcazar just put the pieces together and then he confronted you. And you folded like a house of cards. You put my wife and my unborn child in the hands of a drug lord. No, Sonny, that was you. When you married Carly and you got her pregnant, and you made yourself powerful enough to have something that Alcazar wanted. You know what? You can blame me for taking your wife and locking her up. The one who made her a target was you. Mm. So who taught you to play? I uh, don't remember. Picked it up somewhere along the way. Surprised you never learned. Me too. Looks like I'm a natural, huh? <laughs> I won. Yeah, congratulations. Yes, thank you. you sure you're not a backgammon shark? <laughs> oh, come on. I won fair and square. Now pay up. Come on. Money won't do you any good here, Mrs. Corentos. Oh, well, that's okay. A bet is a bet, and I won fair and square, and this is... All right, that's enough. Right. Hand it back. Oh. You were the last living tie to my mother. I wanted to know my brother, so I looked up your records. It was very impressive. Yeah. High school dropout, juvenile delinquent, worked your way up to middle echelon mobster, and then suddenly, what, bang, Frank Smith dies. You took over most of his territory. Within a year, you control the eastern part of the Canadian border and most of Puerto Rico. You didn't get that kind of power on accident, big brother. You took it. You killed for it. And then you have the arrogance to parade somebody like Carly in front of your enemies, just begging for them to come after her. You know what, Alcazar? Just took the invitation that you left for him. He took Carly from your, from your house where you held her hostage. You were either too stupid or too weak to know he only left her with you to split my focus. He had total control of Carly for the minute he saw her with you. I gave access to Alcazar. Uh -huh. But the reason that he has Carly, Sonny, is because you have something that he wants. You're afraid for her? You should be. Because Lorenzo Alcazar is just like you, Sonny. He's a businessman. Doesn't matter whether she lives or whether she dies, as long as he turns a profit. get my wife and my child back. And you know what makes me feel real good? They're gonna be safe because you're not gonna be around. Sorry. Elizabeth told Baldwin that we had Rick and he showed up at the penthouse and he searched the place. He didn't find anything. No, no, he didn't. But if Rick disappears right now, we're looking at a full murder investigation, and you can't, you can't risk that. Are you telling me not to kill I think him what now, Jason? Jason after... I tell you, he doesn't want. Shut up! Baldwin, listen to me. Baldwin talked to Interpol. Okay, they confirmed that Lansing oversaw a construction of a compound in Venezuela. So if Alcazar takes Carly there, we have, we know. No, no, no. Carly's about... on a yacht. Nothing Rick knows is worth so keeping we, him alive. We, we just listen to me. No, you listen to me. You're angry. Oh, now, I... Right? 
He's nothing. He's done. He's over. Okay, listen. You hate Rick, but you got, you got to think about Carly and Michael and prison. Because if you pull that trigger, you're going to carry it, Sonny. You want to do that? Let me. Let me do it. I hate Rick. Killing him won't cost me anything. You can go to Edgartown. I'll meet you there when you're finished. Listen, you're a hitman. Pass it off to somebody else, like him, and like you always oh, do. Oh yeah, right? right. That's what you would do, right? You you would let somebody else. Look, do if it. you think that I deserve to die, then it doesn't matter which Shut one up! pulls the trigger. I can forget killing you, Rick. The way you deserve to be forgotten. Okay, hold on here. Rick is my enemy. Come here. I watched you hurt my wife and my sister, and you did everything you could to destroy me. And I didn't... I did nothing to stop you because I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe there was a part of my mother in you. Something good, something I should honor. So I lied for my mother's sake. And now Carly's paying the price. I'm the only one who can make this right. I need to do this alone. Oh, come on, Sonny. You confirm everything that I just said about you, right? Beg first. Go ahead. No. Beg. No, I let Carly... Beg! I let Carly go. Yeah? I showed mercy. That means you I'm better mercy. than you. Go ahead. Go ahead! Come on, then! Go ahead! Get your chance, right? Yeah, you're lucky. Huh? Get the gun. Come on. Wait. Open up. Kill your brother? I'd like my money clip and the picture. Well, who is she? The picture, please. Okay. I'll give you all of this back as soon as you tell me why you're caring. This isn't the game. Just... Give me what's mine now. It's a snapshot. Lorenzo, it's not a nice pick. Why are you acting like I just stabbed you in the heart? What are you doing here at Lansing's house? He, uh, he loaned it to me. Or did you follow him home and kill him? I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you mind if we, uh, have a look around? Yeah, you can go ahead. You got a warrant? We can get one. How long is that going to take? Well... It's probably too late anyways, but know this, if you killed Lansing, you killed your only shot at finding Carly. Why is she so important to you? You've mistaken my hospitality for weakness. Don't be confused. You won't be allowed to escape. Oh, I'm pretty clear on that. You need to respect certain boundaries. Don't take your money clip again. I got it. It's not a joke. What is it with that picture? Hmm? You were fine until I saw it. You were laughing. You were having a good time. Now you're all serious. Who is she? Leave it alone. For what, huh? You gonna throw me overboard? Don't mention it again. Something happened to her. She's gone, isn't she? And you just keep that picture with you? To remember her by, but you can't even look at it. Because it makes you too sad. But you don't need to look at it to see her. All you have to do is just close your eyes. Why are you pushing this? Because she means something to you. And I'd like to know why. Yeah, Rick wasn't much of a brother to you, but he wasn't stupid. He worked for Alcazar. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Are you aware that he built his whole compound down in Venezuela? He was behind everything, all the security, how to get in, how to get out, I mean... He has the connections. He had the connections.
Well, who knows? Maybe Carly's not even down there. Anything else? Wise up, Corinthos. Don't do anything stupid. Find your wife. Let's get out of here. They're gone. You believe me now? Okay. We're going to have to move. All right. Oh, is that right, son? You're going gonna to move me to a less shut up place and kill me, huh? Hey. Well, you're never going to find your wife! Her name was Sophie Germain. And? That's all you need to know. Why? You have someplace else you need to be? Some appointment that you're going to miss? You're trying to work me. No, I'm curious. Besides, I am here on this boat, stranded in the middle of nowhere. Sophie Germain is something to think about. We have lots to think about. Beautiful sunrise tomorrow, your next meal. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the deal. If you keep dodging it, I'm going to keep asking because it's going to make me more curious. So you can save both of us a little bit of hassle and aggravation if you just tell me who Sophie is. How'd you meet her? She was reading international law in Oxford. Oxford in England? <laughs> yes. There is an Oxford in Mississippi, too, you know. I was a graduate student in Oxford in history. In England. Yeah, England. I got that, thanks. My father wanted me out of the business. What, the business you're in right now? Lewis was being trained to take over when my father had come. I, on the other hand, was planning to be a history professor. My father wanted me to be an attorney, of course, corporate law. So if he said, if I couldn't find a better use for a law degree than to make rich people even richer, I should stick to history. <laughs> she was an idealist, huh? She believed the law should help people, not corporations. She wanted to save the world village by village, shanty by shanty. And, uh... I was uh, so in love, I agreed to help her. Wow. Lorenzo Alcazar, champion for the downtrodden. We were on our way to a village in the rainforest where there was civil unrest, guerrilla warfare. So we just wanted to help, and I loved her so much, I'd do anything. And my brother Luis called, and he was in serious trouble. A deal had gone bad for him in Lisbon, and he wanted me to back him up. Just this once, I told Sophie, and he's my brother. I had to help him just this one. Did she go to the village alone? She went with a group of human rights workers. Most of them students like her. Young enough and naive enough to believe they could make a difference. I got Luis out of trouble. It didn't take very long. When Sophie had waited for me. She couldn't, right? I mean, it, there, there wasn't a choice. Mm. Not at all. I was on my way to join her. To catch a flight out of Buenos Aires. When uh, I was running through the airport, I saw this story on a television. The gorillas had burned the village, murdered everyone, including the children. And of course, the human rights workers. That's a lot. It was a long time ago. But you realize that if you had gone to the village, you would be dead too. No. My family had connections in that area, which I would have used. Sophie didn't want me to, but I would have. 
if I'd been there with her. Then maybe Sophie would be still trying to save the world and what, you'd be a history professor at some fancy university. Who knows? But here you are still doing your brother's dirty work. Doesn't matter. I thought you said you told Sophie just this once. So how did it turn into all these years? Sophie's life was taken from her. Why are you just giving yours away? Max said you were waiting. Where's my husband? You need to let go of Rick. You killed him, didn't you? How could you kill okay, your Okay, I'm not going to discuss this Why right not? Sonny, is it some sort of mob regulation? Thou shalt not discuss thy brother you, after you order the you hit? You need to forget Rick. I'll forget Rick when you forget Carly. Don't you ever say that to me, Elizabeth. Look, look Sonny, I know Rick has done terrible things, but they were driven by love. It was a oh. real love. He's never loved anybody in his life. He loved you. After everything he's done to you, how can you still believe his lies? Once Sonny thinks it through, he's drinking like some wine or something. I don't want anything from you, not after what you've done. Rick's alive. Doesn't deserve to be, but he is. Yes. Well, where is he? Is he, is he, is he okay? Is he... For now, but if you try to contact him or try I won't. to... I won't. Or if you say one word to Scott Baldwin or the police, Rick is a dead man. Do you understand me? No, I don't think I do. I spared his life. I, sp I spared his life. In return, he's going to have to do something for me. It's dangerous. He may not survive. The world's got to know that he's, that he's dead. Otherwise, the deal falls apart. Okay. You can, okay, you need to grieve for him as well as you can. You don't have to. You know, people are going to understand if you don't. Nobody should waste a tear on Rick Lansing. He's nothing. He's been damaged. Don't make excuses for him, Elizabeth, not to me. Imagine what his life was like. I don't care. His father I don't care. your mother choose between sons. I mean, what kind of father does that? There are worse fathers than Trevor Lansing. But he left scars. Everybody has scars. Come on. What are you talking scars about? are on his heart, Sonny. He grew up in a cold home. No, he grew up safe with money. He had every chance in the world. And he wasted all of it trying to hurt you, I know. He loves you, Sonny. Maybe you'll never understand this, but Rick can only love the way he was taught. And he was taught by a very sick man. Sophie died, everything I believed in died too. My plans were irrelevant. History's only lies. And the law. There is no law. Only men with guns. Yeah, I understand that. All I had left was my brother. He needed me. Luis is gone now. And your life is your own. You can choose to be who you really are. Mommy's gonna be home soon. That's what you always say. You talked to her, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, then you know she's gonna be okay. Then why can't you find her? I'm doing... Look, it. you know what? You're gonna have to trust me. Just a little while longer that Mommy's gonna come home. Can you do that? Huh? Yeah. Hey, buddy. What's up? Daddy's still coming for mommy. I know, but he will. I uh, dropped off the package. Good. What package? Just, uh, just some business stuff. Okay. Gu guess what? What? I'm taking Michael to uh, get some hot fudge Sundays. You are? That's right. Get upstairs. Get dressed. 
I got no choice. I'm gonna have to meet Alcazar's demands. You gonna move the drugs? I'm gonna let them land on the docks. They'll never hit the street. How you gonna work that one? I'll set up a front man, have him buy the shipment. They'll hand over the drugs to us and we'll dispose of them. Okay. What do you want to do about Rick? Can't afford to kill him right now. Alcazar's gonna know that we're gonna be searching that yacht. He's gonna, tr you know, take Carly to the compound. Rick knows his way in. Rick's got more solid information than anybody. Do you think I'm wrong here? Mm -mm, no. You think he's gonna try to use us to get a reprieve to act like he's uh, redeemed himself? Well, you know he's gonna try that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. He could walk through that door right now with Carly in his arms, put her safely on that couch, come over here, kiss my feet. Hand me a promise from God that I'm going to get into heaven, and I'd still hate him. I will not forget. I will not forgive. And I will guarantee you my brother's going to pay for what he did. Another game. That's up to you. Who, um, invented backgammon anyway? The Egyptians played a variation, so did the Romans. What kind of history did you study? European, with an emphasis on the 20th century. You know, I always hated history. I mean, all those dates you have to remember. I mean, who really cares when something happened? It's over, it's over, move on, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, why were you so interested in it? I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to figure out where to put these You're trying pieces. to make me realize who I used to be. And what is wrong with that? Is it so bad? Sophie wanted to change the world. I wanted to understand it. And she died. But it doesn't mean you have to give up. I was young, idealistic, and in love. Was it the only time? Possibly. would say if she could see you right now <laughs> she'd be appalled so would the young man i used to be she's gone now so was that history student in oxford are you so sure about that don't bother looking for the man i used to be he can't help you now carly Oh, I'll tell you a little secret. Okay. You ready? Yeah. The baby's growing inside of mommy. I felt it kicking. On the boat? Yeah. Okay. Do you think mommy and the baby are getting seasick? Uh, no, not really. This is a different kind of boat. It's kind of big and fancy. It's kind of like a, a house on the water. It goes real fast. We have a fast boat. Why don't you go use it and catch up with them? doing everything I can, buddy. But what if something bad happens? And, like, and they catch you. And what if you don't come home like mom? Um, you know, sometimes I go away, right? Yeah. But I promise you I'll always come home, okay? Okay. Now, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you go in there and get us two hot fish Sundays? I want mine with sprinkles. You mean there's little... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, what do you expect? <laughs> you might have to miss those sprinkles. How you doing, Faye? Do you like that? Didn't shoot you in front of your kid, didn't I say? Well, you're not gonna shoot me now. Oh, that's why you're wrong, Sonny. See, you killed Rick. And now I'm gonna kill you.
for a while. The crew has instructions to give you anything you need. Except a lift home? <laughs> yes, anything except that. Okay, well then, don't expect a thank you. I don't. Did your brother love you as much as you loved him? I like to think so. And why did he... Why didn't he let you go? I mean, I know from watching Sonny that this life is a trap, and once you're in it, you cannot get out. And your brother must have known that, too. Yet he still brought you into this business. You were a good man, and you could have had a really good life if he hadn't brought you into this world. What makes you so sure I was a good man? Besides the fact that you're angling for me to let you go. What you told me about Sophie. Well, you didn't make that up. And look at the way you treat me. Especially compared to Rick. I'm not saying that you're sticky sweet. I'm just saying things could be worse. First you killed my husband, and then Rick, and now it is your turn. I should have done this a long time ago. You want me to read it for you? Uh, you can do me a favor, okay? Just go in there, wait for a second, all right? I'll be out in about three seconds. Don't come back out. Man, what a peg you as the fatherly type. That's your problem, because you just sent away your one chance to get out of this whole thing. You're not going to kill me, because then you're not going to know where I got raped. And you were bluffing to save your miserable life. Rick's alive in one of my safe houses. Prove it. First things first, you cooperate, you may get to see Rick permanently. What? I cooperate. I'm the one holding the gun here. Yeah, but I got what you want. Not just my worthless brother, but a way to, to help you stay out of prison. You help me bring down Alcazar, right? Mm-hmm. And you'll be keeping your deal with the feds. If you refuse, I will throw Rick to Alcazar, who wants him dead. Worse than I do. Why does Alcazar want Rick? Well, that, you're going to have to ask him. There's an offer on the table. Either you shoot me now, or let's go over details. What do you want me to do? First, put that gun down. All right. A chocolate sundae? Oh, how'd you get? <laughs> well, I'm psychic. That's how I know that my only nephew should be in bed. Come on, sleepy. Oh, no? Way past your bedtime. You go with Courtney upstairs, okay? Find yourself a book. Okay. I'll be up there in a minute to tuck you in. Okay. Okay? Good night, buddy. Good night. Hey, can you tell Mommy that I said hi if she calls? And tell her I miss her and her baby, too? Yeah, I will. Thanks. Seventy five. Come on, sir. Faith was waiting for me outside of Kelly's with a gun. Did Michael see her? No, I told him to go back in. What, what does she want? What do you think? She wants to kill me. So I made a deal. I convinced Faith that the only way Rick is going to stay alive is if she cooperates with us. What? What, what? what do we need her for? She's going to front for us. We're going to let Alcazar land the shipment. She's going to buy the drugs. That way they never make the street. And what if Faith double crosses you? It's bad manners to let a woman drink alone. In your case, I'll make an exception. I like breathing. 
If I were as lethal as you seem to think, how could I possibly stay out of jail? Good question. We were supposed to get the goods on Crentos. What happened to that? Well, my deal fell through. Seems the DA dropped the attempted murder charges. Lack of evidence. So my incentive to work with the government just disappeared. So why have you called me? I want Cardi back. Alcazar wants Selena Shitman. Faith wants Rick. The only way she's gonna get to see him is if I give her access. That's how I know she'll keep her end of the deal. I have a very interesting proposition for you. All right, so what if Alcazar figures out that it's a setup? Then what? Mm -hmm. Well, then I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out another way to get Cardi back. Business or not? As long as Faith knows that Rick's alive, why not let her visit him? I mean, maybe we'll get lucky, they'll have a fight, he'll push her down the stairs and she'll poison him. I need Rick and Faith alive right now. Unfortunately, I don't know any other way to get Cardi see, back to you. Rick and Faith, a lot could go wrong with those two. Yeah, but we gotta make sure it doesn't. We're talking about my wife and child. I mean, come on, Jason. I know. Well, you'd do the same for Courtney, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Be glad you're not a father. Be glad you don't have a, a wife who's your, your whole world with an innocent child inside of her and you can't get to see them. And you gotta deal with, with Faith and Alcazar just to get to them. You're right. It's good that I'm, I'm not a father. I mean that, you know, all this happened before Courtney and I got married. You're right. That's not what I meant. I, 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 I'm sick of this, all right? I hate what I'm doing. I hate... I hate what I'm doing to get out of it even worse. But I have... Hold on. Hello? Good. Um... Just come on over right now. Yeah. That was Faith. Alcazar uh, bought it. That, now what? Okay, I need you to make a delivery for me, okay? We need one more person to make this work. I'll take care of it. Thanks for handling it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he's not going to be too long. Well, um, Michael's had his bath, and he's picking out a story for you to read to him. I'm going to go across the hall, okay? Okay. You know what? You got to know, I, I really appreciate what you're doing. I'm your sister. I know. It comes with a package. But you know what? You've been giving a lot. I haven't really been giving anything back. You should be married by now, back from your honeymoon, working on a family. You have not complained once. Like, I'm just I'm trying to help everybody out. Carly would do the same for me, and I yeah. know that you would, too. Yeah, well, you are my kid sister. I'm very lucky. I, I really couldn't have done this without you. I love you so much. Michael asleep? Hey, uh, not yet. He's upstairs, uh, looking for a book. I was just about to read to him. How you doing? Well, uh, outside of wanting to be in your arms and home with my family, I'm okay. What was that sound? It's the, um, 
waves lapping up against the yacht. I'm outside on the deck. Is there any land anywhere near you? No. I could be anywhere in the world. Do me a favor, look up at the stars. You see anything familiar? Oh, Sonny, I'm sorry. You know me. I'm hopeless at this. And they, they look like stars to me. How are they treating you? You know, Alcazar is really different from Rick. He doesn't keep me chained to a wall. He's also different from his brother. I'm learning things about him. Yeah, like what? Well, he almost had a very different life. I think he may even have a conscience. I wouldn't bet on it. I think he means it. When he says he'll send me home as soon as he gets what he wants. Carly. Okay. You, you need to be careful. You are dealing with a dangerous individual. The only thing he's done so far is teach me how to play back him. Listen to me, okay? If you start trusting him, it's going to blow up in your face. You know, half a world away and you are still giving me orders. Well, half the world away and you're still ignoring them. I miss fighting with you. Yeah, well, I miss making up with you. The baby's kicking. <laughs> See, baby's telling you to agree with me and to stay calm and not do anything crazy. <laughs> great. Okay, great. So uh, I have another controlling male on the way. You know, when I get home, I am going to be surrounded by them. When you get home, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you upstairs, right? And I'm going to make love to you about 50,000 times. And I'm going to let you do whatever you want to do. You can say whatever you want to say. We can argue, whatever. You're always going to be right. You liar. God, but I love you anyway. Yeah, I love you too. Prove to me. Alcazar trusts you? Well, he didn't at first, but then my hatred of you convinced him in the end. So the only question now is, where do I get my hands on five million bucks? You don't really hate me, do you? Let me introduce you to your uh, new partner. What is this? <laughs> five million dollars, courtesy of taxpayers of this great city. So if you lose it, Faith, I'll kill you. My, my records are over at General Hospital. I'll just, um, I'll have them transferred over after my appointment today. Okay, thanks. Hey, are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, um, a little tired. Well, why, why don't you go across and get some rest? You know what, I'd, I'd rather just get out, move around, get some fresh air. I'm gonna always get some fresh air. I have an appointment with Sonny. I'll be down in a minute. Status of the shipment. It was unloaded last night. No complications. Where is it now? In a storage basement behind uh, Pier 17. Well, I need access. Okay. First of all, I want something in return. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did this. Did I... what? I was practicing backgammon and, and, and I dropped some pieces under the table and I can't really get on my hands and knees and get them, you know? 
That's it. They're all worked up over a backgammon piece. You don't have to yell at me. I'm pregnant, okay? I get emotional sometimes. I just... Could you please, do you mind just getting it for me? All right, just chill out. Yeah, I got, I got, actually it's two pieces, so make sure you don't, you can get them both. <laughs> see my wife. First, the drugs need to be picked up and delivered into the hands of a distributor. There's a steel access door from the alley. Wait for my call. You know, you're making this surprisingly easy, Simon. Yeah, well, I told you I'd follow through. Yeah, well, the last time we tried this, you blew up my boat rather than let the shipment reach the docks. First of all, I never blew up a shipment. I, I stuck to the deal, just like I'm doing now. It's your turn now to reciprocate. I want my pregnant wife returned to me. I'm beginning to understand your determination. The wife is an extraordinary woman. You stay away from her. Your wife has the freedom to go anywhere she wants on that yacht. Naturally, when I'm on board, we have occasional conversations. I'll be in touch. He's pushing this agreement way too far. I gotta get I gotta get Carly away from him. Zazar has Carly, he's got all the leverage he needs. I am not gonna risk losing her and, you know, having her get hurt. He knows it. Look, I, I understand that you're buying time to rescue Carly, but every time you move a shipment, you are solidifying Alcazar's position. You know that. Yes, but I, I need Alcazar secure and relaxed. It's the only way he's gonna give me an opening. I gotta get back on that boat. So how, how did Carly see him when you saw her? She was fine. I mean, she seemed strong. She, she even apologized for not being able to escape on her own. I mean, it, it, it's good that she's pregnant. You know, preoccupies her. She has to take care of that baby instead of so you know, something crazy to try to get away. Baby's the biggest part of her. She just keeps growing inside of her, you know. She just seems so delicate to have a... A baby that big inside of us. Especially with everything she's been through. I know that you're scared. Yeah, for Carly. Yeah. She's strong. Right. You know that? Mm hmm She can be a pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. But when things get bad, she always steps up. And there's no way that she's gonna let anything happen to that baby. And she's gonna hold on until you get her back. I just don't know if I can hold on. I want my life back. Will you take it easy? I'm pregnant. We well, caught Mrs. Corintos in the wheelhouse. She was trying to get out an SOS, but we shut it down in time. She tricked me. She did this whole number on how she couldn't get a backgammon piece. Forget it. Get your clothes back on. Pull it together before Mr. Alcazar gets back. Take them off. Well, I'd like a little privacy, please. Okay, well, I don't really think that Lorenzo would be very happy if he found out that you made me strip in front of you, especially after I escaped while you were supposed to be guarding me and someone else had to bring me back. Come on.
I just, I don't, I don't trust Alcazar. And every time that you see Carly, it's a risk, and who knows what's going to happen. He's not going to do anything to me, because I'm too valuable to him. So what's hey. I, that, I need to see Sonny. Let in her in. Arms. Let her in. What are you doing here? Is that any way to greet your business partner? Alcazar could have had you followed. You could have blown the whole deal. I wasn't followed. Did you get the drugs? Did you pick them up? Yeah, I moved them to the warehouse on Talmadge, as agreed. I've done my part. Now let's see you do yours. Excuse me. Hello. The merchandise is where you said it had been. Did you hand them to the distributor? The transaction went smoothly. Meet me at Pier 52 and I'll take you to see your wife, as promised. I'll be there. It's handled. Wait, 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 wait. I, I did my end of the deal. You gotta do yours. Where's Chris? Jason, you know what to do, right? Thanks. Until I get my charts back. What charts? Your husband's gone to a lot of trouble to be here. It'd be a shame for you to waste your time together. There's no need to touch it like that. It was accidental, I assure you. Enjoy yourself. Oh, oh. Take this to the wheelhouse. She had time to get a good look at them. Mrs. Corinthos can tell her husband every detail of our location. Those charts are a week old. Charts so I could figure out where we were, but I didn't have a chance to. How's Michael doing? Is he any better? Is he still missing me? And did you tell him I love him? <laughs> yeah. 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 God, I missed you. Time's up, Sonny. You have to leave now. What? What? You've got to be kidding me, right? I mean, Sonny just got here. We haven't seen each other in months. Just, just give us a break, okay? Don't ask him for any favors because you don't want to be indebted to the man. The man says it's over, it's over. I wrote this. It's from Michael. Oh, this little letter. It's sweet. He'll love that. I just tell him that I miss him. Yeah. And that I'm thinking about him all the time. It's going to be fine, okay? All you got to do is you take care of yourself, all right? 
you take care of her, baby. I'll be thinking of you and Michael all the time. We'll be together soon, okay? Okay, bye. Exercise, you're welcome to walk the deck. Oh, really? Of course. I told you the boat is at your disposal. Yeah, well, um, I might take you up on that because I am feeling a little restless at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry you found Sonny's visit so upsetting. What I found upsetting was how quickly that it ended. And here I thought I was being the accommodating host. Look, as far as captors go, you are a definite improvement over that psycho, Rick. And I know that Sonny had to make some horrible concession. And I am grateful for the visit. But what I just don't understand is after all the trouble and after all the risk, why you couldn't let me have one hour alone with my husband. At least not for a while. My, my job is to put myself on the line every day so Michael's father doesn't. Hey. We're tracking device on Alcazar's yacht. We have his location. It's time to bring Carly home. How did you and Sonny meet? Through a mutual friend. Why? You've asked me a lot of questions about my past, and I've answered them. Doesn't that entitle me to know a little bit about yours? All right, I'll give you the abridged version. I grew up in a rented dump in Florida. I was furious with my adopted mother, and I was jealous of my rich best friend. Once I found out who my biological mother was, I was hell-bent on ruining her life. That's why I went to Port Charles. I didn't want to make the world a better place. I just wanted to find a rich and powerful man and take him for all he was worth. No noble intentions, no goodness of heart or spirit. I was a complete polar opposite of your lost Sophie in every single respect. Are you saying you're using Sonny? Are you insane? No one uses my husband. And those who try, they get chewed up and they get spit out and then they mysteriously disappear. So you love him? He's everything to me. And the fact that he just happens to be rich and powerful is what? An amazing coincidence? It's a collateral benefit. Sonny and I weren't supposed to happen. He couldn't stand me. And the feeling was mutual. How do you cross that bridge? Carefully. Painfully. See, Sonny and I, we slept together for all the wrong reasons and I wound up pregnant. And then it was a pretty specific hell for a while. Sort of just um, learn to love each other. Are you sure about that? Or are you and Sonny just making the best of a bad situation? Michael, uh, why is there a problem? No, he just uh, he had a nightmare, but Jason calmed him down. Jason's great with Michael. Do you ever feel like you, you took something from Jason since he was Michael's father first? Where's this coming from? I don't know. It's just sometimes it's like Jason thinks that his life is less valuable than yours. And Sonny, I mean, it would never even occur to him not to put him on the line for you or Carly. Okay, if you're asking me to leave him behind, I can't do that. 
I got, I got to get Carly away from Alcazar, and I need Jason's help to do that. No, I know, I know. I'm not trying to interfere. Look, I guess I'm just asking for you to please just show some caution for Jason's sake, since he won't do it for himself. I know this is hard for you to understand, but the reason Jason's valuable to me is because he, he isn't cautious. He doesn't second guess, you know? His work comes naturally to him, and he's not going to leave that behind. I'm, I'm telling you this because I know. Best thing for you to do is let him go tonight and have a smile on your face so that way he doesn't have to worry about you, okay? Everything's ready. All right. I just realized that you didn't, you didn't tell me about the surprise. Yeah, no, I think you might. Okay. We're mm -hmm. gonna bring Carly home. Okay. Bye. I wouldn't do that. You need to work on your poker face. When you're about to make a risky move. Better show a little caution or I'm gonna win. I don't do caution. You're the one who wanted to play this game anyway. I'm just being an obliging captive. Oh. Is that how you think of yourself? For a second there, I thought you were actually enjoying yourself. I don't think you are sick and evil like Rick. But I do realize that you are conducting a business negotiation. And as much as I hate it, I'm the bargaining chip. And in some crazy way, it's, it's civil. But my only focus is going home and being with my family. And when that day comes, believe me, I won't miss you or your boat one bit. I'm gonna fight taking for a walk on the deck.